Hi, in this video, I'm going to check out a Sony EF Premium designed in Japan, not made in Japan, designed in Japan, mind you. And here it says with screws. Sony part number C90 EF PSA. And its claims are highest performance tape for all recording. Just above that frequency response graph. Made in Thailand. Some of the other claims are higher resistance to heat, outstanding durability and a stronger cassette shell. Let's get it out of its wrapper and have a good look at it. The case does have some cracks in it, unfortunately. And here it comes. Let's check out the stickers. And the J card. A somewhat plain looking J card on relatively thin paper. And these cassettes in this wrapper were made in between 1996 and 1997 in the EU. And this one is a Thailand made version of the same cassette in the same wrapper. The shell is on screws as mentioned on the wrapper. In this particular cassette, I think Sony is using the early 1990s HF shell. With different graphics printed on the shell. Let's have a look at the tape itself. And it is relatively light brown, shiny tape. And that would be its proper color, what I can see there. So that's the Sony EF Premium from 1996. Let's compare it to an earlier Sony EF Super. And I have two of them that I've obtained from different sources. And straight away I can tell that both of these tapes are different, different colour. So let's add the Sony EF Premium to this slot and check out the tape colour in that one, just to compare it. And again it's a lot different, a lot lighter, a lighter brown to the EF Supers, both of them. And none of them are the same or identical tape in them. And what we see here, I think it confirms what others were saying, that the EF was used to dispose of uh, old stock of magnetic tape by Sony. The shell with the Sony logo in the corner there. Slightly cracked. And no lip on the inside.
as you can see here there's nothing to retain the cassette except for the uh, door itself And while it's got the same shell as the 1991 HF, arguably it looks better. Perhaps thanks to the different graphics printed on it. But enough talk for now, let's record some music on this cassette. And if you have discovered this channel for the first time and you'd like to see other Sony cassettes or any other cassettes for that matter, check out the cassette playlist on this channel. And here is an example of some of the Sony cassettes featured in that playlist. And despite this being a Sony cassette, I'm not going to be using the Sony TC-FX211 again. Simply because the best this deck could get from a 20,000 kilohertz source was 17,500 kilohertz on playback. Instead, I'm going to use the Technics RS B705 with this cassette and this is a track I'm going to use and this track goes just over 20,000 kilohertz here on YouTube and the bias for this recording I've got it set at neutral
check out what I got on playback with a Spectroid app. With this cassette. And overall, I'm very happy with that. While there's still some cassette noise in the quieter passages, the frequency response is excellent. Thank you for watching and see you next or the previous video.